Well, next we head to a little hamlet in Williamson County with a big reputation. Leapers Fork, in some ways, seems to be frozen in time. And as Cindy Carter discovered, the local inhabitants are working pretty hard to keep it that way. In the heart of Tennessee's Williamson County, amid the rolling landscape of green pastures, forests, and the rambling Harpeth River, you'll find a small village smack dab in the middle of beautiful nowhere, where music plays. Well, it's knowing that your door is always open. And art inspires. Hello there. Hi. How's everybody doing? Come on in. And Southern Charm is also on full display. It's a way of life. It's very community oriented. It's a place where everybody knows everybody. Leaper's Fork has always been a special place for the farmers, merchants, and other folks who've settled and prospered here since the 1800s. But like many unincorporated spots in a modern world, Leaper's Fork was on the verge of either being developed or abandoned when fate intervened. In 1991, Tennessean and preservationist Aubrey Preston was driving through the countryside and driving and driving. He was looking for a place to turn around and head back to civilization when he stumbled across this village. But Leaper's Fork was very different then compared to the Leaper's Fork of today. All of a sudden there's this little village, this little town with these turn of the century buildings. And uh, it was about a ghost town at that point, almost, not quite. But Aubrey and a few other like-minded individuals had a vision for Leaper's Fork and led the charge for purchasing and preserving every aspect of the village, its history, and the surrounding properties. So we have a little village that is remarkably preserved and kind of what you see now is substantially what it'll be in the future. A future and present where locals and creatives coexist. Come on in and make yourselves at home. I was scared to death, I did not know what I was doing really. Lisa Fox owns and operates Leapers Creek Gallery, located in what used to be a golf filling station. Lisa was working as an artist in Nashville when Aubrey commissioned her to paint this mural inside his mother's Leapers Fork home. She quickly fell in love with the landscape she was painting. He um, didn't want me to leave either and so offered up this space, this room, as a gallery. Like, could you run a gallery for, for us in town and help us get it going? Yeah. You know how that is. <laughs> Lisa admits it took some time to get things going in this country village, eight miles from the closest town. I mean, it really was tough selling art out here, you know? I was, it was just a very unusual thing in the middle of nowhere. And if I ever did sell a little bitty painting, the whole town would gather up and have a happy dance. You know, it'd be like this huge, huge deal. Today, more than 20 artists are on display in the gallery, most of whom are Tennesseans. Lisa and guardian of the gallery, Abby, couldn't be happier. The main thing that I wanted it to be was a place where everyone felt comfortable coming. That it wasn't the kind of gallery where you stepped in and felt self-conscious or like that somebody was like trying to hard sell you something but I wanted everyone to feel comfortable. It's hard not to feel comfortable in Leapers Fork. Roughly 650 people call this community home. Dozens of others pass through here daily shopping and visiting the local merchants. The David Arms Gallery is another art gallery in town. There's a day spa, a lawn chair theater experience. Anyone who wants to spend the night or two can rest up in Sweeney Cottage. And there are plenty of places to grab a good meal, like the always bustling Fox and Lock. You get one side or two sides, three sides. They gather around food and music here, and so this is kind of the go-to place where uh, for community to just go connect um, solve community problems, maybe accidentally run into somebody you write your next song with or paint your next painting with or make your next deal with. 
whatever. Uh, but it's important that we have places like this. Aubrey Preston owns the restaurant that serves up sandwiches, southern desserts, and other comfort food. But there's also really good music on the menu. Singer-songwriters, special concerts, and open mics. You the mirror, Aubrey says, just like notable artists supported Leapers Creek Gallery early on, Prominent musicians also offered their time and talent. Oh, Larry Carlton and Mark Colley and then Tim McGraw and Faith Hill were here and Keith Urban early on and so many folks that came out here and lent their talents and their creativity to inspire and uh, kind of affirm what we were doing. Today, Leapers Fork merchants and citizens are reaping the rewards that come from careful planning and preservation. It's been uh, just a lot of people who kind of found each other, people that love land, creators that are drawn to the land naturally because of the simplicity and the inspiration and the quietness that they can create in. Leapers Fork is agricultural. It's artistic, but most of all, it's authentic. And it's smack dab in the middle of beautiful nowhere.